What is up guys and girls, it is me Ed and KO here in today's video, we are doing some little bit of Gambit gameplay. Now I've been trying to stray away from Gambit gradually and slowly, but I kind of felt like doing it today because I haven't been playing very much today, there's been a lot of construction in my house, so I haven't really been getting on due to the noise and issues with recording and all that, so I really haven't been playing that much. My internet is doing that great right now, so I figured Gambit would be a good way to do it. And this is going to be our current loadout, we are running... Warlock, which is a strange thing. I want to kind of diversify the content a little bit here, and I want to see if I can get used to Warlock for a future video series I'm planning on doing on Destiny. So yeah, we're gonna do Swarm of the Raven, which isn't our God Roll Swarm of the Raven. It's not not God Roll, unfortunately. The only thing that's bad about it is Pulse Monitor, but we do have Spike Grenades and Blast Radius. Apparently Velocity, I think, is one that's better. I think was what it was been told before. I don't know. Quick Draw is good and Spike Grenades good. That's all that really matters to me, and it looks cool. We get the boss back on that. Then we also have the Reclusy Boy. Which I've been using this thing a lot since I've gotten it, and it is pretty freaking fun. This skin, by the way, pomegranate gloss. I don't know what you guys think. It looks pretty dope on it, in my opinion. With the um, it's a bitsy spider. I don't know what it looks like without it, actually. Oh yeah, it looks it look, okay. It's like two little lines. <laughs> um, and then we also have Izanagi's burden, which I'm slowly and gradually working on the catalyst. We're 89 percent. We can actually probably get it. Um, this gambit game if I get enough invades and good enough kills on the invades. Blah, words are hard. Astrokite Verse because I like using Blink and I haven't really gotten that yet and I don't think I have very good perks on it actually. No, I really don't, unfortunately. Um, is what it is, I guess. And then just a few random other armor sets because I really haven't gotten my Warlock set up with gear quite yet. We do have a fitting aspect, which I'm kind of thinking about trying out in another video in um, Crucible. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, guys, I'm going to queue you guys up here in a second, and I will see you guys once we get into a game match. Be right back. New Arcadio. I'm um, New Arcadia. Which one is this again? Uh, the one on Mars. Which one is the one on Mars? Have I ever been on this one? Wait a minute. I need to see it. Oh, wait, is it the Frozen one? It's Vex again, man. I always get Vex. Which one is this? If you catch Vex instead of kill him. Wait, it only highlights enemies, does it not? Drifter, you're an enemy! <laughs> Destiny 2 ending confirmed. Drifter kills us all, dudes. Yeah, it's the Frozen one. Perfect. This is honestly one of my favorite maps. I know the I know the spawns for invaders much easier. It's right there, 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 or there. It's one of those four spots. Now, the hard part is figuring out which four of those spots it is before getting absolutely domed or rocketed. Because Truth was one of the worst things they ever added into this game, specifically because of Gambit. Although they may be getting rid of it soon, so I don't know. Which is unfortunate, because I really do enjoy Gambit. I'm probably like one of the, the very small part of the population, though. The cheaty part of Warlocks, here we come, hello. I love how I like over a thousand kills on this gun, and I'm still barely learning how to use it. <laughs> More like this. Oh, what the hell did I just do? Wait. Nailed it. Nope. <laughs> the Gulch. Blood Gulch. Halo 1 confirmed. <laughs> just revert back at this point. Kind of curious how to see how Halo Infinite's gonna go. I don't remember if I explained it earlier or not, but. We are in normal Gambit, due to the fact that I think this is a little bit better for me. Instead of playing like five or six matches and uh, compiling a little highlight matter, or really, it's really three usually, but instead of doing that, I figure we can do multiple rounds and run with this, and I think it'd be a little more fun. So we're about to grab our first invade here. Is this dude going to go for it? Do you want to go for it, Chief? All right, I'll let, I'll let him go for it. That's fair. We're being nice to our teammates today. I don't I don't like being that type of dude who just straight steals it from their teammates. Hopefully he can get some kills though. Doesn't just throw it. Alright, that was kind of a throw, but that's that's fine. Now the issue is how we're gonna rebuttal with them is because they're about to drop a massive freaking load on us. And we just lost all of our moats. Where did all the moats we just had go? Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. See, told you. It's always one of those few spots. Once you learn the invader spawns, Gambit becomes nothing more than a PvE match with a little bit of Gambit involved. I mean, PvP match with a little bit of enemies involved. That's all it is. 
or the other way around. I don't know. Words are hard. All right. I'm trying to become. I'm trying to be like make people happy. Rip in the chat. <laughs> and they're still invading, man. This is the last round entirely. That guy who invaded completely choked, unfortunately. Can't win them all, though, you know. Truth is a really hard weapon to deal with, and I honestly, I don't, I don't mind the fact that he died because of that. Because you really can't do much about truth. It's a very intolerable gun. If you screw up in the slightest with your dodge time or anything like that, it, you're pretty much screwed. Issue is, I don't know where this guy is, and I'm kind of uncomfortable because I don't know where he is. You know? Yeah, they're without a doubt gonna win this. Unless I, unless I can get this, this guy lets me grab the invades and start playing. This is without a doubt a loss. That also involves us cleaning, cleaning out the middle though. Yeah, no, there's, I don't think there's. Did I just get all the blocks out? I almost did. Okay. You're not supposed to do invite no teammate. Let me go for it, please. Alrighty. Okay. Hopefully he'll do some work because we really need it right now. If he can put some work in, we can catch up. Nope, he can't. Alright. So I'm gonna have to do the yield camp around the spawn and act like I'm doing stuff for my team gig. Which I really hate playing that way, but if he's gonna keep invading and not doing much for the team, I gotta do it. And the flip side's like, oh, why, why are you gonna be like a super like competitive gamer? This dude's really getting on my nerves. Why are you gonna be such a competitive Gambit player? It's just a normal Gambit. I really like Gambit. <laughs> it's probably one of my favorite game types in the game, purely because of the fact that I know exactly how things work, and I have the most experience in it. I think this this season alone, I've logged close to 150 games, and I really, really appreciate that. There's a healing wall, bro. Just for you. Good. He made he made a move. I like it. I like it a lot. How's it already compromised? All right. If they invade. What did we get? This dude! I swear to god! Alright, he he got kills last time, so I can't get super mad, but I really want to go for an invade. He's kind of hogging him. Alright. I guess that'll be my job, is controlling the invades. Ooh, that's what happens you play too much freaking hunters. You start getting used to the whole idea of dodging. Hello. And there's thralls all over the place, man. <laughs> Jeez. He killed me with the bygones, he outplayed me, but freaking Thrall too. I've never seen a Thrall actually hop up like this. It's kind of interesting. A different playing style, I guess. Keep the Izanagis ready, they have another invade. Which we are pulling ahead, which is kind of funny. Alright, I'll let him go for the invade. I'll let him. I'll be, I'll be goalie. I'll be goalie, like that. As long as he goes for the invades and keeps doing what he needs to do. That's a fair that's a fair deal. It's not a very entertaining deal for me, unfortunately, but it keeps as long as we win. That's all I care about. That's the win. That's winning the game. Huh. <laughs> that works. That honestly, I don't mind playing like that. We got two guardian kills. We could have gone for three. That's unfortunate though. Fortunately, I'm not getting anywhere near that that uh, challenge that I really want to get, where I um, where I think like 70, I think it's 75 modes without dying once, something like that. That's what I'm really. That's the end game for me right now, because that's what all I need for Dragon title. I need to get one more Infamy rank up, which kind of getting ready to start waiting for the um, next double Gambit XP weekend or triple Gambit XP weekend, and do it like that because Gambit's leveling system is so unbalanced, man. Like seriously, you need 15,000 points to level up in this. While in Crucible, I think you need like, what is it, like 10, I think? For a normal uh, Legend rank up? I think it's 10k. And these bounties don't do squat. And that's why, that's, I think it's part of the reason why people don't play Gambit either, is because of how like, unrewarding it is, honestly speaking. The weapon drop rates are pretty low, and to get an even better weapons, even lower. 
Yeah, I need to put my. I was trying to back off my well off. Too busy talking, I end up dying. Unfortunate. A little bit of moat loss there too. Fun fact: you can shoot minotaurs before they come out of their teleport if you know where they're going. It's a very fun fact. All right, they popped a 15. Yeah, yeah, okay. Try to save my Nova Bomb now. If we get overwhelmed like last time, I'm gonna pop it, obviously, but the end game here is to try to keep everything going. That dude's block seven, really? Lol. What a lolly boy. When I first started playing Gambit and first started getting super competitive into it, it used to bother me to the highest level of bother to get people who would bank like stupid numbers like that. Where is this dude at? Don't laugh at me for that. Where is he? <laughs> How do you know you play too much Hunter? You start throw acting like you can throw a smoke at someone. <laughs> Alright team, we need to start putting some moats in here. Oh, okay, let, let him get them that. Get that. Get it. Nice. Start making moats. Go ahead, person. We're playing goalie this game. <laughs> Although we didn't get the kill for that. We, we're playing, that's, that's gonna be our objective here. As of right now, we're gonna be going. Massive chain explosion, yep. We're, uh, Death Star explosion. Oh, that dude's already dead. Rip me. Oh, no, he's not. my god, run, run! Oh, please don't take fall damage. Oh my god, it took fall damage, but it was enough to kill me. <laughs> I was not about to lose all these modes. That would have been a sucky experience. Remember in D1, where um, the fanatics would make the Fanta juice, what everybody called it? So like, every time they, um, they'd like die, it would be the green juice instead, during the Vogue raid, and I was like the huge, like if you got hit by that, everybody's like, alright, this guy's dead as hell. Don't worry about him, he's not used to it. he's not a use to us anymore. I'm gonna go for this invade. I'm switching over. Let's see if we can get some kills. Play some play some good kills here. Kind of a waste of honed edge on him. Yeah. I, I keep on trying to dodge. I keep on trying to double B dodge, and it doesn't do anything for me, you know? It's so unfortunate, because... Uh, it's fine. We got a kill, at least. We got we, we broke their movement. Honestly, the thing that people don't understand about invading sometimes is that... As long as you get roughly one kill, you disrupt the entire team's movements. Like, you physically disrupt everything. And I, I'm almost thinking about making a series where I start teaching people about Gambit. Because I love Gambit. Gambit is so much fun. And I'm really hoping that when this whole little update thing they're talking about here, about getting rid of it, quote unquote, and like fixing it, isn't going to be what everybody thinks it is. Like, I, I'm hoping they don't get rid of everything that's actually good about the, the Gambit. Because I am such a big fan of it. <laughs> Sorry for the huge volume up right there, but I cannot explain how much of a big fan I am of that. Alright, I'm gonna let the guy with 15 go for it. I feel like that's a smarter move. 15 boy, go. Go, bank it. Alright, 15 boy dies because this guy's gonna be a little awkward. Alright. Bank it, 15 boy. Yeah. Now, fun fact, they will not lose. Actually, they will lose an invade because of this. Since we got our thing down while they had an invade out, I'm pretty sure they lose the beginning invade. Which is a good thing for us. Teammate, go for the invade, brother. It's all you. I hate using grenade launchers because things like that happen. <laughs> like, you saw it literally just went right through this dude's legs. I'm not going to go for the reses either. 
just because it's a suicide mission for me. Especially since I don't have my res thing. There's gotta be a way to get that at gen faster. Slow and steady headshots on bots. <laughs> Waiting till we get higher Primeval Slayer before I use my uh, thing as well. Yeah, these dudes are competing. There's, there's, I think there's two of them right now who are just straight competing for the uh, invades. Right, we're going to get it for eight, and then we're going to go for the invade. I am in a bad place. That is why you always have it fully procced. That was a cheap move, but I don't care. Go for it. Go for it. And him. Yeah! Woo! That's why you wait a little bit longer. I only had six there for some reason. I think it's I think it maxed out or something. I don't know. What did we get? Oh the boots. Oh yes, that's obviously what I was waiting for my entire life. <laughs> that wasn't a good that was not a horrible game. That was a fun game, but that was a little bit of like a um talking about what I like to do. We got a pretty decent amount of moat banks. We, only, we got four, which means we got, what, three or so? Um, Guardians without invading, I think. Not bad. They didn't invade as much as I was expecting them to. They got a decent, they got a lot more Guardian kills from the uh, covering their invades. Because our dudes are invading a lot. Distant relation. Oh, yay. <laughs> um, anyways, guys. I'm going to conclude this video here. I think I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start a little series. I'm going to do once a week probably for Gambit while it's still around or while it's in its current state. And uh, do like a little teaching about how to be a better Gambit player, really. And tips and tricks that I do and um, how my play style works. I know I'm not a pro player, obviously, but it is nice to show some knowledge that I have. Because I have learned a lot of things from Gambit that I think could be useful for other players to learn and uh, make it a little more of an enjoyable experience. That's really what the goal is. <laughs> so don't hate, I'm not trying to be a uh, big headed type of dude or anything like that, but just want to spread some knowledge that I have. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, had a lot of fun making it. It's kind of fun to sit down and talk and just hang out sometimes with you guys, not go crazy there. I saw you guys showed how matches could go with Gambit and uh, hopefully in the future I can make more videos showing how that stuff works and a little more tutorials and explain things and just talk and hang out with you guys. But anyways, once again, thank you guys for watching this video. If you were new on the channel, check out some other videos and consider subscribing if you would like to. And if you're a uh, returning subscriber, words are hard. <laughs> thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate the support you guys have given me. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.